So the other day, young man, 13 years old, California, walking down the road, carrying one of these, actually it was an AK version, not an M4, but anyway, carrying his AK, pistol in his waistband, walking down the road, in the public, in a city, in California, cops get a call. They drive out and uh, they jump out of their car and say, hey, freeze. And he turns around and does this and they shoot him. Now, after they shoot him, they go and look and they find out that what he was carrying was a pellet rifle, which probably the news got it wrong. It's probably just like this, which is an airsoft rifle. Airsoft rifle shoots BBs. Uh, and he was probably going out to go play airsoft with his friends or something like that or go shoot his airsoft gun at a friend's house. But he was carrying it in the open. He had the orange tip taken off just like I paint my orange tip. Uh, so when he turned that gun on that officer, uh, there was no way to tell that it wasn't a real gun. And everyone's crying and screaming about it out there and holding candlelight visual, visuals and all that stuff. And uh, you know what? I'm sorry. It is not that cop's fault. He did his job. He had a young man turn and point what would appear to be a highly deadly weapon at him, and he did his job down to the T exactly how he was trained to do. Okay? I'm, I apologize, but, you know, I can't run around with my airsoft weapon pointing it at cops like this and expect not to get shot at and go, oh, no, no, it's airsoft officer. It's not a real gun. Why'd you just shoot me? You know, that's ridiculous. And then people keep saying, oh, he's 13 years old. Well, guess what? I wonder if a cop out in Southern California or Northern California, wherever this was, it was above San Diego. I wonder if they've ever run into a gang member with a firearm out there who was under the age of 18 years old and had a gun. I bet you every cop out there has encountered a gang member at some point in their careers if they've had a career of any length of time. An armed 13, 14, or 15 year old happens all the time out there in California and other places in the United States too. Uh, happens over there in, in my area, in my neck of the woods in Dallas, Fort Worth, I'm sure. So, again, they're saying, oh, he's 13, he was a good student. No, he was a kid who had what appeared to be a highly deadly weapon. He turned it and muzzled an officer with it and got shot. And I'm sorry, but his parents need to be taken to court uh, and dealt with somehow because they should not have had him have access to that sort of weapon. They should have raised him to know that he is not to walk around in public with what looks like a deadly weapon and certainly should teach him not to muzzle people with a deadly weapon. But it's a little too late now to go back in time and uh, teach the kid proper gun etiquette. Uh, but they're just going to cry and blame everyone else. They're not going to blame themselves. Oh, hell no. Not, not the parents' fault that the kid walked down the street with the gun pointed at the cops. It's the cops' fault for not magically knowing it wasn't a real firearm, even though it totally looks like one. So anyway, uh, it's a tragedy, yes, but uh, if some parents can watch this and go and teach their kids who are uh, basically what I would call, you know, just dumb kids, not say, hey, this kid got shot because he walked down the street with an airsoft rifle, and a cop shot him, uh, don't carry your airsoft rifle down the street and keep them alive, then uh, I hope this video does some good. Me, me.